Hello and welcome to an awesome, awesome review. And today we're looking at the vinyl Batman Wonder Woman Justice League 2 pack. Uh, it's so weird not saying Funko Pop because, well, they're not Funko Pop, they're vinyl. Which, I don't think vinyl is too old. I want to say the line, I'm, not, I'm saying the line, I don't think they're too old, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but they're still relatively new whatever you want to call them it's so weird because if you look at them they do look a lot like funko pop but from like i, I don't want to say from like a few years ago but at the same time they, they're not like funko pop now which you know they've done so it, it's so weird to talk about I, I am gonna spend a little bit talking about this before i get to the actual vinyls themselves just because it, this is my first vinyl review these are my first vinyl figures i guess uh they were a gift from my sister for my birthday, which uh, it's Batman, so I, I'm not going to complain. It's freaking awesome. So the, the main thing here is that they seem to be stylized in a skinny kind of flat way with giant heads, which reminds me of Pops, aside from, you know, the fact that their bodies, when they first came out anyway, were all kind of the same generic thing with a big head. It's like that, but, you know, instead of the body being shaped the way they were before, this is a square, skinnier thing with a good amount of detail. I mean, they look really good. I'm going to say that right now. The sculpt work on the newer pops, especially all like almost all the ones I've been reviewing this year, you know, they've gone above and beyond. They look freaking amazing. They, you know, they're, they're killing the game with pops. I mean, no longer do they all kind of look the same. Now, you know, we have things like Agumon, who looks like Agumon. He almost, aside from his head being just a little too big, and, you know, it's obviously that's kind of the Funko thing. The heads are big. Aside from that, you would think, oh, it's just a mini Agumon statue because of how much he doesn't look like a generic Funko Pop. If you guys get what I'm going with there. These vinyls, you can kind of tell they all fit in from the same line when you see these, when you see uh, the Avenger ones, which I will be doing a two-pack on that too because, well, she got me one of those for my birthday as well. So thank you. But, uh, yeah, I actually saw some of these. I don't remember was if it was earlier this year, at the end of last year, that were from uh, the year without Santa Claus, and I was kind of like, I kind of want those. What are these? I, they they remind me of Dorbs, but are, I think maybe better. I don't know, but probably are better because I I mean, if you collect Dorbs, good on you. That's great. You know, a, a lot of people don't like them. I think they're okay. They're not my thing. I, I probably will get one eventually, just because my store has one that I kind of want, and it's still there, and it's you know still a good price i'm probably gonna buy it and it, it'll be awesome but anyways getting on with these two they do look pretty cool the heads are freaking giant you can see they are uh oblong i don't know if that's the right word going up really good uh there is a little bit of sculpted work on both of these you know her nose is sculpted her tiara is sculpted his nose is sculpted and the ears uh her hair and everything like that the bodies do look pretty good and let's just start off with batman here because why not he is one of my favorite superheroes of all time and even if it is the Justice League version, which, you know, loved or hate the movie, I, I still like Ben Affleck as Batman, albeit I don't like how they're right portraying. That's just a whole other thing. I don't want to get an argument here. But the little vinyl thing looks really good. There's no detail behind the cape. I, I checked. I lifted it a little bit and checked. So there's the cape there. In the front, you can see all the printed on detail with the line work and different gray colors and stuff, which looks good, though. It looks like somebody's thumbprint kind of got on there. The little things on his arm are sculpted on and... Eh, they're not sharp, but they're not not sharp, I guess. His fists look good. His feet look good. It reminds me of something you would see in an animated series for maybe kids. Like, I can see this being an animated series, even though then they just do a Funko Pop movie or something. I don't know. I don't remember. They're, they're doing something with them. They're doing Gears of War with them, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. The face is pretty good. You can see that the mouth and the shadowing and the chin is all printed on same thing with the eyes and everything which the eyes look awesome the bat symbol itself is raised and looks really good and overall i do like how he looks um it's a little smudgy in a few places but it's really cool it does come with a stand because their heads are so top heavy it's not going to stand at all ever on its own unless you put like some sticky tack on the bottom in which case well there you proved me wrong but it's not on its own anymore because it's sticky tack but yeah they look really good wonder woman looks really angry <laughs> i mean batman actually looks pretty angry too now that i'm thinking about it but i don't know she looks and eh, maybe they both look equally angry but yeah she is definitely a little hefty her hair uh i, I don't want to say it's a solid piece but it's definitely a heavy piece 
and it's sculpted on pretty good different line work you can see where the glue and like the seam line is for it which isn't too clean especially on the side there but it's not a big deal at all you can see that it does have detail on the back here which is nice her sword which is straight which is awesome it's not like bent off to the side or anything uh her actual you know dress thing looks really good the gold on it is really nice really shiny as is the blue on the skirt her boots look good there goes her stand because of the way i'm holding it but uh yeah overall detail work on her is nice the face print is looks good she does have her sculpted nose like i said and the tiara looks pretty good albeit it's printed off a little bit to the right that triangle is not centered perfectly so there is that and both of these can turn their heads basically all the way around as you guys can see there which i'm okay with batman seems to not want to really move too much there he goes there he goes don't don't prove me wrong batman but uh yeah both of these are pretty cool do i recommend them if you're a fan of justice league if you're in batman and wonder woman in general i mean they both look pretty cool and they are definitely going up on my dc shelf because it, it's batman stuff and it's wonder woman so it kind of fits in with that theme obviously because they're both dc right right but anyways uh yeah um i have seen a lot of these going cheaper on amazon i'm guessing they're not doing as good which is kind of to be expected because i don't see people jumping off of pops to collect these as much uh, i do want to see where the line goes because uh the thanos iron spider-man which i will be reviewing soon hopefully if not tomorrow's video i don't know wherever this fits in in the timeline of my videos um that iron man that iron man that's iron spider looks amazing the thanos looks amazing i'm loving what they're doing with them so i will say that but i'm also loving what they're doing with the pops lately so yeah we'll see where the line goes see if it keeps up or see if it falls the same way as the dorbs which it might but either way they're cool and that's pretty much my review of these anyways hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the like button comment down below subscribe for more and i will see you all later thank you for watching and goodbye